Hey, what's up Aquamigos? Welcome to another pond build video. In today's video, we will be continuing building the cinder block retaining wall for my pond. In case you missed my last video, we already cemented all the blocks from right there all the way to over there. And today I'm going to try, this is the goal at least, I'm going to try to get all the blocks done from there to right there. And I went to Lowe's this morning and I bought the additional mortar that I needed to complete this project. I bought a total of six bags. As you can see, it's the one with the green label. Those are the ones I bought today. And I also bought this, guys. I bought a mixing tub. And the reason that I bought this is because I'm giving the handheld cement mixer one more chance. Some of you might remember that I tried out that hand mixer before and it didn't really work out for me. But Vertigo117, he actually recommended that I buy one of these mixing tubs. They didn't have the round ones like he recommended, but they had these rectangle ones. Hopefully that'll work because my hands can't take much more mixing up cement with my hands. So hopefully this cement mixer works. So anyways guys, I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, what's up guys? So I figured I'd do a quick update. This is where we're at so far. So we're kind of like almost halfway there. I guess halfway would be right there. I'm pretty excited to eventually get to the second layer of cinder blocks because I'll have a much more level surface to work with. The foundation that I made isn't 100% level and I think that's what's making this kind of take a long time, but we're getting there. And all these gaps in between the bricks, those are all gonna get filled in at the end. Mom, see my bricks over there? What do you think? What do you think? I love your bricks. Thanks. And I'm just gonna do some shout outs for the Aquamigos really quick. I have a shout out for Carter and Taya, Blumtron, Kayla Knox, Joshua Santos, TPW Has Puppies, Luis Da Silva, and Sleepy Girl ZZZ. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get back to this. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done today. It's already 7.30 p.m. So I think I might have like another half hour of sunlight. So let's get back to it. Okay guys, I'm gonna call it a day right there because it's going to get dark soon. It's already getting a little bit dark, but we made it about halfway to where I wanted to get today. I probably should have started a little bit earlier.
and I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like during the daytime after it's kind of dried in a bit. But nonetheless, I'm happy with the progress we made today. In the next video, we'll for sure finish the entire first course and get started on the second course, which means like the second layer of cinder blocks. Hey, what's up Aquamigos? So it's the next day now, and I just wanna show you guys the wall really quick. Now that it's all dried in, it's looking very solid. I came out here this morning and I sprayed it down with water again, you know, just to help that cement cure a little better. And yeah, guys, solid. So in my next video, you know, I'll tackle this last part right here, and then we'll be ready to get started on the second course of cinder blocks. And after that, of course, it'll be time to buy the liner and get that in. We're like pretty close to getting done, guys. And I just wanna share a little bit of news with you guys about the pool pond. The weirdest thing happened two days ago, I found a dead goldfish in there. And then yesterday, I found another goldfish in there that was kind of swimming weird, like something was wrong with it. So I went ahead and checked my parameters yesterday. The parameters of the pool pond are perfect. I'll go ahead and put a picture of what they were here on the screen. As you can see, even my nitrates were very low, like under five parts per million, which I don't think I've ever had before. So I have a couple other ideas of what it might have been. My first idea is because the temperature of the pool pond did increase a bit. That's why I put this umbrella over it. I'm thinking maybe it was that the water got warm too quickly. My other idea is I, hopefully it's not this, but you know, maybe there will be a parasite or some other sort of fish disease just because it was like two fish that I saw having a problem. It's probably not just a coincidence. There, there is probably some factor at play. Hopefully it's not a parasite or a fish disease, but if, if I continue to lose fish, which I don't think I have lost anymore, but, but if I do, I'll definitely have to investigate further. So anyways guys, that's gonna be just about it for this video. If you guys did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my pond build progress, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. Thank you to all you guys who always watch until the end. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.